Jared Lafreno, your service auction co-chair for this year. I'm going to be showing you how to use our online service auction this year. It's going to be slightly different than last year, but should still be pretty user-friendly for everyone. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to this year's auction website. We'll be linking it from the Facebook page and the church's website, but it's a pretty easy website to remember as well. It's charityauction.bid slash up for the challenge. And that will take you to our service auction online. And from there, you can see all of the handy buttons that you want to use. If you want to preview our items that we'll have available, you can click the catalog button. And right now, everything that will be available either for a fixed price or a biddable items is available to see there. You can scroll through them. You can use uh, the categories that we have if there's certain things you're looking for, or if you just kind of want to preview uh, what's there. Once the actual night of the auction comes up, we will have this so only the items available on Friday or Saturday become available. You'll see as you preview an item, it will tell you that bidding starts in four days on Friday, April 9th at 6 p.m. That's when the service auction starts. There will be items that will be available on Friday and there will be items that will be available on Saturday. But as I said, for now, you can preview everything. Uh, that's in there. For the rest of this video, I'm going to be using our uh, test site uh, so I don't do any damage to the actual uh, auction website. Uh, so that's why you'll see these big banners that say test event. Those, as I said, as you saw, those won't be on there. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to get yourself registered to become a bidder. So you click the online registration button. From here, it's going to ask you to enter all of your pertinent information that we'll need for the auction. Phone number, address, email, uh, and we do need all of that because that's going to help our item donors get in touch with you if they need to. It's going to help the auction committee get in touch with you if we need to. So, so please take a second to fill that all out for us. Once you fill out all of your information, you click the button for continue to register card. And here the auction site will ask you if you would like to enter a credit card at this time for a more rapid checkout. You do not have to enter a credit card on this auction. Uh, if you choose not to, you can click skip this step. If you would like to enter a credit card, here's where you can do it. If you don't know now, you can also enter a credit card uh, later as well. But I'm going to go ahead and enter the test credit card right now. You enter your credit card number, just as you do on most sites. Enter a expiration date and your CVC number from the back of your credit card. And then you click continue to review registration. And it's gonna ask you to double check everything that you have your email address spelled correctly, that you put your address in right, and you have an option here to leave a comment for the auction team uh, if you need to. You don't have to, but feel free to. Uh, then you click the button for I agree and click complete registration. Now you aren't done yet. Once you hit complete registration, a verification email will be sent to the email address you entered. Once you hit complete verification, you should receive this email uh, in under a minute. And it'll look just like this, except that it won't say uh, test site. All you have to do then is just click the link and you will be taken back to the auction website. As you can see, it'll take a few minutes to get yourself signed into the auction site. You probably don't want to wait until six o'clock on Friday. We'll have that site live very shortly on Facebook and from the church website. So take any time between now and Friday to get yourself signed up. Now you're signed in and you are off and running. Again, you have the buttons up ahead, uh, the catalog, the donate button, and the contact button. I'm gonna take a second right now to point that out actually. If you need help at any point before the auction, during auction night, 
On the bottom of all the websites is the email address, auction at uucuc.org, or you can click the contact us button. That will also uh, take you, send a message to us, uh, but it'll do the same thing. If you email auction at uucuc.org, one of the auction team, probably myself, will be in touch with you right away, uh, especially on the nights of Friday and Saturday night, we will be uh, sending on our email. So if you need help, uh, that's how you get us, auction at uucuc.org, and we should be able to help you out. Okay, let's look at how we're going to buy some items. The auction catalog is where all of the auction type events are going to happen. From here, you will see all of the items available for purchase uh, arranged. They'll be in there by default uh, in alphabetical order. You can search for an item if you're looking for something in particular. You can sort them by the categories if you are interested in certain types of things, or you can just scroll through them and you can and you can find different types of items that way. We will have two different uh, ways of purchasing things. There are biddable items as always, and there are fixed price items. You can tell by scrolling through in the catalog which are biddable and which are for fixed price. If it's a biddable item, it's gonna tell you what the starting bid for the item is or what the current uh, bid to bid on that item is. If it's a fixed price, it's going to say buy it now for, the, for that certain price. So, you know, that's a fixed price item. I, I should point out this time that this year, to alleviate a lot of the confusion, all of our events, our dinners that people offer uh, that we had done as biddable events in the past uh, are going to be fixed price this year to alleviate some of the confusion. Hopefully next year we can go back to our live auction and uh, go back to doing it that way. But this year they're going to be uh, fixed items. So I'm going to show you how to purchase both a fixed price item and a, uh, a biddable item. First, let's look at how to do a fixed price purchase. We want to purchase a couple of spots at Ursula's Gathering Around the Fire Pit. You can see that there are six, still six seats available. You enter how many you would like, say you want two. You click the buy it for $30 button right there. It's gonna ask you if you're sure. You hit okay, and there you go, you have bought two. I just said that says currently still bought two. You'll see a little dollar sign and a cart pop up over there once you have some purchases in there as well. And that's a fixed price purchase. Pretty straightforward. Now for a biddable item. I think we'll show us how to bid one of those delicious pots of Hungarian goulash that the Herzogs are offering. It says right now there's no current bid. Now there's this interesting feature down here called proxy bidding. I'll save the time and not reading the long document of what is proxy bidding. But what proxy bidding does, if you've ever used eBay, you can enter your maximum amount you want to bid. For example, right now it's $15, but I know the Herzog's goulash is pretty in demand. There's going to be a lot of bids. I don't want to go too high. So I'm going to put $50 in as the most I'm willing to spend on uh, their goulash. I hit bid 50. And, and as it says, are you sure you want to bid up to a maximum of $50? You hate, you hit okay. And there you go. You will say you have the current high bid of $17 or $15. You have to bid $17 to bid higher. So what that's going to do, because you entered $50, if somebody comes in and puts a higher price in, say they bid $20, you're going to automatically outbid them until they get bid up to $50. And you will receive email notifications of, of that as well when that happens. So you'll know when you get outbid. Uh, but that will automatically bump you up. If you don't want to do that, if you don't want to put a max bid in, if you like the thrill of the bidding, or you want to bid just enough, you can uncheck that button if you don't want to. Uh, but for right now, I'm set in there as a max bid. So automa again, automatically, uh, your bid will be raised up to $50, but not past that. So think of that as like a not to exceed bid. That's a pretty handy feature. 
I should also point out another feature on the biddable items. As you'll see in this box, it's going to tell you when bidding ends. Um, certain items will end uh, on, on each day at 9 p.m. However, the system to prevent people from grabbing things at the last minute, if a bid is entered in the last five minutes, so if I come in at 8.56 and try to steal the pot of goulash, the time is going to get extended by five more minutes to allow people to come in and, and bid uh, up to 15 minutes after. So that bid close time is set for nine o'clock, but it could actually go as late as 9.15. But again, if you put your max bid in there, uh, you should be covered to uh, to win that as you want to. Again, if you've ever used eBay, that should uh, seem pretty straightforward. Okay, that should cover bidding. I do want to point out at this time that uh, as you're bidding for items, if you are feeling generous, you're, you will be asked uh, a couple of times if you'd like to donate. There is also a donate button at, in the menu bar at the top of the site. If you would like to make an additional cash donation on top of your auction purchases, that would certainly be uh, greatly appreciated. You can click that button and uh, that would take you to uh, your checkout as well. At any point in the auction, if you click on the little shopping cart icon that popped up, if you hit a buy it now or a donate, you're going to have an active balance in there and it's going to show you uh, what you have. As we did in our exercise, we have uh, our gathering around the fire pit is in there, as is our $50 cash donation. Now, my bid for the Hungarian goulash isn't in there because that item hasn't closed yet. You could go ahead and make a prepayment if you know and you're waiting on options, or you can wait till the end of the auction as well. And it keeps track of your running balance that you have there. You have the $30 from your fire pit, the donation, uh, credit card fees. We do charge credit card fees on this one uh, because our credit card processor does charge us a fee to use those. So there is a nominal uh, fee to do that as well in your total, and you can enter it from there. Again, there's another box to add a donation uh, if you want. But most of you probably won't be paying on the fly through the midst of the auction. So let's look at what it looks like uh, after the auction's over. Uh, the auction's going to close, and you're going to receive a couple of emails from the software. First, on items you were bidding on, you're going to receive an item one notification, letting you know that you for sure won that item. There is a checkout button on there if you'd wish to go ahead and hit that. And at the conclusion of the auction on Saturday, I will be emailing statements to everyone who purchased items, and you will receive an email that looks like this. Let's say, here's the items you bought and everything that you have, you can double check that. I'll also point out that when you get this statement in the item descriptions of what you purchased is going to be the contact information for the people who donated the items uh, as you need to, if, the, if you need to contact them. From your statement, you can see the items you won and then you can check out. So you click the button check out. And that will load your checkout procedure for the website. Again, it will double check the items that you purchased. And you can click the, then click the pay now button. And from here, you can double check your contact information. If you need to change that, it's going to have your account balance. And again, it's going to ask if you want to make a donation. So you, if you're going to make a donation, you can add it there. You double check that all looks correct. And you click continue to payment. From here, you can select your payment method. If you registered a credit card when you set up your account, it will default to using that. You can enter a different credit card or you can select pay later. And it's going to ask you what you want to do. If you would wish to pay by check mailed to the church, that is an acceptable uh, option as well. Uh, but we're going to use the credit card example. Again, um, you will see in your subtotal that it's going to add a nominal fee for uh, credit card usage uh, for our uh, payment processor. You click continue to review. It's going to again take you through all that. 
I agree. Complete checkout. And it says, thank you. You are all done. And thank you from the service auction team. And once you click that, you will receive a final receipt to your email from the auction software that will have a total of everything you paid, including donations. So that is how the auction works. Uh, as I said, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, if you've used online uh, auction software, so again, that pertinent information you need to know, the, the site for the online option is charityauction.bid slash up for the challenge. If you have any questions at any time during the auction, before the auction, or after the auction, do not hesitate to email us. Again, that's auction at uucuc.org, and that will be at the bottom of the auction site uh, no matter what page you're on. Uh, and again, on behalf of the auction committee, thank you from the bottom of our hearts for your support of this fundraiser for our church home. And happy bidding.